The Ministry of Electricity and Energy, together with the South African Nuclear Energy Corporation, also known as NEXA, is today celebrating the 60th anniversary of nuclear technology in Pelindaba, outside Pretoria. NEXA is a state-owned entity which is focused on nuclear technology development. The event will mark some of the major achievements, including its nuclear science capabilities. Among other things, the research reactor produces life-saving isotopes used in the diagnosis and treatment of cancer, making a significant impact impact on healthcare both locally and internationally. Our reporter, SABC News reporter Gatlekho Lekhodi is there and he joins us live. A very good afternoon to you Gatlekho. Uh, of course this is uh, really amazing stuff uh, that uh, these people do, these nuclear scientists. The minister has spoken there telling them thank you for their service. What more can you tell us? A very good afternoon to you, Nombu, and to our viewers at home. It's a celebration, I must say, here at Pelindaba as we see the 60th anniversary of uh, the Safari One reactor. Earlier on, we were taken on a road or a drive, really, uh, a walkabout inside this particular reactor where we got a sense of the work that is being done uh, by the men and women that are gathered here uh, behind me. I'm sure you can uh, get a sense of the minister that is just wrapping up his address here, loading the work that has been done for 60 years uh, by this reactor as NEXA also looks at uh, 60 years later or 60 years plus uh, following where we find ourselves here today. So we're hearing uh, reflections around where we are. But one of the notable announcements, uh, Nompu, coming out of uh, this address here was the minister uh, talking about uh, this 1.2 billion brand that has been set aside as an investment that will come into uh, this multi-purpose reactor uh, that will be set up in the 2030s to complete the work of Safari One that is being celebrated here today. Of course, uh, you hear that from Cape to Cairo, everywhere in the world, we are loaded as South Africa in terms of our nuclear medical research and the country also benefiting uh, financially and economically uh, from the samples, the isotopes uh, that we take and dispatch out of the country produced at this plant where we're at here in Pelindaba. I'm going to bring uh, Temba into the conversation now uh, just to give us a sense as the MD of the NTP, just give us a sense of the work that you guys are doing. Let's look at the value chain as well, moving from uh, the isotopes that are being produced there at the plant, but also moving as well into the radioactive space, into the medical space. We hear that there are hospitals that are already benefiting from the work that has been done here uh, today. Welcome to the SABC, sir. Uh, thank you very much, Katlok. I think let me first of all thank, and uh, I want to say my weight of uh, congratulations to Safari for reaching this important milestone. 60 is by no means a small feat and we're here to really celebrate. But we're celebrating because for us at NTP we're harvesting the neutrons coming from Safari and we're using it primarily for production of isotopes, these life-saving isotopes. We irradiate a target plate at Safari, then after a particular period we ship them to at NTP where we're producing uh, two isotopes in, 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 in most importantly, one called molybdenum 99 that is used globally for the imaging as well as the staging of cancer. And secondly, after a particular period, we extract the second one, which is called iodine-131, that is also used for the treatment of various ailments. We are very proud to be associated with this. Actually, our relationship with Safari is more symbiotic because we rely on each other, but we rely more on Safari for us to give us life. We were blessed today when the minister indicated that they will get 1.2 billion injections, as we said earlier, to build the new multi-purpose reactor. For us, this business continuity for us to make sure that post-Safari 70 or 80, 80th anniversary, we will still be continuing with this process of doing isotopes. The future looks bright on the isotopes. I can tell you now that we're distributing this into more than 55 countries in five continents, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, and in the African continent. We have started the whole journey in the African continent by starting to assist African countries, especially Ghana. We went to Ghana in partnership with Kolabu, a teaching hospital there, and we assisted them to do their first prostate care answer treatment. We proceeded to Uganda and we did the same. And we went to Nigeria, went to Morocco, so we'll be moving all over the continent to deliver these life-saving isotopes because they are not only used for cancer, but they're also used for respiratory diseases, cardiovascular disorders, and now recently we're venturing into TB. So we'll diversify in terms of the disease that is being cured, diagnosed and treated by this life-saving, but also from the customer base I've indicated that we've diversified, we're all over the world, 55 countries and five continents, but also we're going to look at technology, that what are the other means of producing these life-saving isotopes? Because it's very important that 
when we're saying actively enhance life and we are in the world, as next and NTP pay off lines are saying, we really mean it because we want to be in your world, but to, what are we doing? We actively enhance life by supplying these life-saving isotopes. I'm glad in the line that you touched on the issue of TB uh, because recently there have been concerns around what we saw coming out of the United States, the pooling of uh, some of the funding that will go into uh, research. Uh, how do we find ourselves navigating uh, some of these issues? Does this uh, give us an opportunity as South Africa to also strengthen our research capabilities here at home, uh, looking at some of the work that has been done here at Pelindaba? So one, one of the things that we're doing that we're doing quite well, part of the revenue that we derive, we plow back into our research and innovation such that we continue that product pipeline. One, to look at various elements, not only looking at prostate cancer, we are going to look at breast cancer, but second, we are going to look at TB. And we are in partnership with Numerai, as the big hospital, to look at various forms of, tre- of diagnosing first and, and later treating. Because the doctors got a very w- funny way of catching it. They say, first of all, you must find it, you must fight it, and you must follow it. So they're going to find ways of how they can diagnose and treat TB. And they're going to find ways of how to fight it and to follow up with a relevant treatment. So we will be playing in that space, especially looking at the TB space quite uh, uh, scale going forward. Awesome. Mr. Tulani, let me release you to go back to the party. Uh, thank you very much for joining us on the SABC uh, this afternoon, Mr. Tabo Tulani, uh, coming through here, here as the NTP uh, Managing Director, just helping us uh, get an understanding of the memo, the importance of work significant that is being done here at Pelindaba. And you hear them saying the future of nuclear in the country is bright as we see the minister as well uh, punting on the benefits around energy security that will uh, amass and get uh, from uh, various of these energy sectors and energy role players within uh, this energy action plan, uh, this including nuclear. Numbu, respect to you in studio for now.